it's super hard to get a message across that's <laughs> easy to watch. And when you see that a video is five, six, seven minutes long on YouTube, you probably don't want to watch it. But I'll try and keep this brief, but real and genuine. I grew up in a small town called Huntington, Utah, where there were roughly less than 2,000 people. And I came out as openly gay when I was 12 years old in junior high school. And there were about five years of my life that seemed like hell on earth. You know, there wasn't a day that went by that I didn't get jabbed in the elbow with somebody, or elbowed by somebody, or shoved in the hallway, or food thrown at me. You know, in, in high school, my car got vandalized. People said things as cruel as, you know, if you died, nobody would miss you. And it, those were interesting times, <laughs> to say the least. And I just want to reach out there to, to the youth right now. I'm 21, I've been out of school for almost four years, and living in the city, making things, you know, making ends meet. Now my problems are, are beyond being harassed. I've got to deal with bills and rent. <laughs> but just know, I genuinely believe that if I can overcome the adversity, and if, if I can fight through it and, and get past it, then anyone can. I mean, I was lucky and I had an amazing group of friends to help me. Some of you may feel like you don't have anyone, and that's when you need to reach out beyond your community, beyond your town, and seek help online. I mean, I have I had friends all the way across the United States when I was in junior high school that I chatted with on the internet who helped me feel better. And just knowing that beyond this tiny little bubble that you're in in the moment, there's a huge, beautiful world with a lot of people with their arms wide open who will love you. And even though it's a fight, even beyond high school and as an adult, we're fighting for our rights now with marriage equality. Things change and it gets easier and life becomes more real and you realize that your career and your dreams are beyond just your sexual orientation. That's a tiny little part of who you are that sometimes feels like all that you are when you're in a place where that's all people see you as. But just know that, you know, if you keep your head up and you focus, you know, go to college, you know, see your options, find scholarships, get out of where you are and go somewhere bigger. Try and find a city because generally there's so much more cultural and diversity. But things will get better. Just focus on your dreams and focus on being the best that you can be and paving the way for a beautiful future. And everything will fall in place. And you'll look back at those people who harassed you and made you miserable and you'll see that they haven't moved. They're in the same zip code, doing the same shit that they'll always do, and they're miserable. And you will be happy, and you will have everything you've ever wanted, because you fought for it, and you believed in it. So, the message of the day is, from small towns to big cities all over the world, wherever you are, when you feel like everything is caving in on you, you have to look beyond that. Imagine a beautiful place where everything is happy and people love you and you feel free. That place can exist and things can get better. They do and they will. If you believe. And if I can do it, anybody can. Trust me. <laughs>